What's going on guys? This is Jake and I'm back with another video. Today we are doing a quick tutorial on how to fix exhaust or intake Vanos solenoid codes that you might be getting on your E92, E9X. This is true for the N52s, N53s, N51s, N54s. They're all pretty much similar the fact that they have these intake and exhaust, intake and exhaust Vanos systems. So the usual cause uh, is the code that you'll see here uh, where it was in the thumbnail. Essentially having this uh, will cause your car to go into limp mode. Essentially what we're doing is we are cleaning out the intake and the exhaust Vanos solenoid. Um, usually you do not have to replace these right away. If the issue does come back down the road, then you can definitely replace it at that point. Uh, but depending upon the miles of your car, I'm at about 85,000 miles. It's usually, us it's pretty usual for cars over time to get a little gunk inside the, um, solenoids. And so it causes them to not flow the proper oil up to the top part of the engine. Um, which causes this issue again this will only take about 30 minutes to an hour to completely do on your own and a five dollar bottle of brake cleaner so without further ado let's get into the tutorial again this will save you a lot of money as these do cost roughly 300 dollars a pop uh, through fcp euro all right guys first up this is what we'll be using right here AutoZone's brake cleaner this stuff is godsend. Don't use any other brand other than AutoZone. Um, I mean, you could use uh, like the actual dedicated brands, but as far as like a cheap store bought option for brake cleaner, this stuff does hell of a lot better than Napa. I'm not sure what they put in this. Definitely not sponsored by AutoZone, but there is something in here that makes this a thousand times better than any of the other stores general stuff. All right, and you'll also need A, you're going to use a smaller one. This is a half inch, no, quarter, half. I The small one. And 10 millimeter socket. I don't think we need the extension, but we might grab it just to have it just in case. You're also going to need a Torx bit. Um, I'm not sure the exact size Torx bit, so I will get back to you guys on that with that in just a second. Uh, you can either use something like this, but I, because I'm going to be using a wrench either way. I have these guys, so I'm going to use these guys. I want to say it's a T15. Let's see. Yep. T15. Also, before we get further into this video, make sure to go down below, hit that like button and subscribe for more BMW related content, but we'll hop right back into this video. So to start, uh, we're gonna go ahead and use our T15 uh, to take the snorkel off. You can leave this part in. We're just trying to get the, uh, the actual snorkel piece off. Also, something like this pick will be useful uh, when we get down to the actual Vanos pieces. So essentially what we're looking at here is we are looking at right here. Let's see if I can focus. So right here, you've got a 10 millimeter and right above it up here, kind of hard to see, Got another 10 millimeter. These are your Vanos exhaust and intake uh, solenoids. See there. So uh, top and bottom here. Uh, essentially all we're gonna do is we are gonna pull up on this clip ever so slightly on each of them. And we're gonna pull out uh, the wire that connects to both of these. So it should be really uh, straightforward. Just keep in mind here how they are wired. So this guy is the shorter one here off this Y piece. So this is where the top one goes. And this top one is wired by this one that has like an L connection that wired. This is the wire for it. It's got this wrap around L connection. 
so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start taking it. You don't have to worry about this piping. You should be able to get around as the oil cooler hoses, hoses. All right, so this is what we're looking at here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Uh, so this is the footage that we have all the way zoomed in this top one this top so this is the bottom one there's the top one up here can't really see that do this uh, coolant hose uh, but it's gonna be the same exact process here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that to you guys now uh, I'm gonna start essentially by unclipping I'm gonna start by unclipping the metal kind of bracket here uh, on both of those and getting the the wiring out of the way first Again, be gentle on these because uh, as you pull, uh, you can pull them all the way out and then it's kind of hard to find these. So you, as it clicks out, you just want to gentle tug it out. Uh, once it clicks, uh, then, you, then you're all set and good to go. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that for both these now. Well, I dropped both of mine, so don't do what I did, uh, but I landed up dropping. All right, so a better attack method for these. Just make sure you have your hand underneath. Um, I do have extra, so I'm just gonna replace it with those, but mine are definitely missing and gone. Next one I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my 10 millimeter, stick it on my flathead. And I need a longer extension, so I'm gonna go ahead and slap this on. Now I'm just disconnecting the wires. Pulling these out. There's one. And make sure when you're pulling these out not to misplace the uh, gasket rings. All right, so I went ahead and brought my Vano solenoids over here to the bench. Now I'm all I'm gonna do is basically blast the shit out of them with AutoZone brake cleaner. So I'm gonna go ahead and give these a squirt now. All right, and then basically I'm gonna let these sit for about 30 minutes, let them dry out. Uh, you can use another coat or another blast. I've already done this in the past, so I'm not gonna do another another coat, um, but I'm gonna let those sit for a little bit. And then um, once you're done, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and throw them back in the car. like that guys all finished up with this video again a super easy how to on getting this done after you clear your codes and run your car you should notice uh, that it's not in limp mode and that you should be able to run the car if the error does come back then you should think about replacing those solenoids as a first stop um, it could be depending on the codes that you're getting mixed with could be other things at fault again uh, this is just a general how to on cleaning these Usually if it's your first time going around and getting this code, uh, this is gonna be an easy, quick fix. And so far I've been running the car 5,000 miles and haven't had the issue come back. Um, and again, the solenoids aren't usually a primary primary failure point on these cars. Um, so uh, usually it comes at higher mileage. Now, if you're at 150,000 miles, probably a good idea to start thinking about replacing these. Uh, but again, if you're sub 150,000 miles, uh, they should be in good enough condition to clean out and keep going. But if you found the video helpful in any manner, make sure to hit that like button down below uh, and subscribe on the way to 5,000 subscribers. So it would mean a lot if you just subscribe down below. Here to do a lot of more how-to videos and BMW related stuff. Uh, so super excited to show you guys more and what I have in store. Catch y'all on the flip.